Good morning dear friends. Greetings to you in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord on this new day. God's grace and mercy be upon you. We would like to begin this day with a meditation uh from the scripture found in the gospel according to St John chapter 8 verses 31 to 36. I request you to read this passage. Um Uh, but uh, to uh, to familiarize us what this subject is going to be let me read it to for you 31 to 36 it says to the jews who had believed him jesus said if you hold on to my teaching take note of that phrase hold on to my teaching you are really my disciples then you will know the truth and the truth will set you free They answered him, "We are Abraham's descendants and have never been slaves of anyone. How can you say that we shall be set free?" And Jesus replied, "I tell you the truth. Everyone who sins is a slave to sin. Now a slave has no permanent place in the family, but a son belongs to it forever. So if the son sets you free, you will be free indeed this is the scripture passage these are the words of the lord jesus christ spoken to the pharisees scripture testifies there is only one truth that sets a man and that is you free from sin satan and the world in the context of human knowledge many things are true yet there is only one truth that will set you free from a sin destruction and satan's dominion and that truth is the truth of jesus christ found in god's word that is the bible no other additional revelation is needed to complete or to make more adequate the gospel of jesus christ the scripture especially the original revelation of christ and the apostles testify to the truth that frees man free from sin the world and satan's dominion the gospel presented in the scriptures is complete perfect adequate and sufficient to save those who believe in this gospel of Christ this saving truth is revealed only from god by the holy spirit it does not originate from any person or from any human wisdom there is a condition Jesus never encouraged his disciples to place our confidence in the past faith or in the uh, in the in the in the uh, present experience or in the past faith or past experience or uh, anything else Jesus never encouraged us to do, do this it is only if you hold on to my teaching says the lord that confidence of salvation is warranted genuine disciples of christ will continue to obey the words of christ found in the gospel according to st john chapter 15 verse 6 which talks about anyone who abides in jesus christ shall bring forth fruit so in order to be a fruit bearing and a useful Uh, a tree in the garden of uh, the church one has to abide in christ now abiding in christ necessarily means abiding in his commandments and in his teaching now only such disciples who remain in christ will enjoy his life just like a branch has no life of its own but it enjoys life from the vine into which 
that branch is connected or joined. His life is free from fear. Or his life is free from all defeat. He is the truth and his truth will keep us free from bondage. As long as you know the truth and then abide in the truth, you are guaranteed that you will be victorious and you will never be defeated. The unsaved persons are slaves to sin. Jesus said, impurity, Satan, people who are slave to sin are victims of these demonic forces. And they are naturally slaves to sin. Now this slavery will lead you to your destruction and eternal death. There is no freedom in this slavery of a sin. Only destruction can be expected for anyone who does not know the truth of Jesus Christ which would have set him free. Now true freedom is found in our surrender of ourselves to the Lordship of Jesus Christ. This is called freedom through surrender. Now, my friends, this is, a, this is a mystery. This is also a miracle. This is freedom through surrender. Now, when we think of the word surrender, it immediately brings before us the picture of someone who has been captured and made a slave. That is the picture that comes. But in Christian life, if you want to enjoy, enjoy true freedom, you will have to surrender yourself to the Lordship of Jesus Christ. And only through that surrender, freedom will flow into you. Because whomever Jesus, who is the truth, sets free from the slavery of sin, he or she will be free indeed and his surrendered life to the Lordship of Jesus will keep him from being enslaved again by the forces of evil and sin and the world and the devil himself. My friends, the devil will force his way into your life and try to capture you and force you to be a slave to him. And that will be your destruction. But oh, how gentle and loving our Savior Jesus Christ is. He does not force his uh, will upon anybody, but he offers your true freedom by surrendering your life to his Lordship. When he is the king who rules over your life and over our lives, the dominion and powers of the kingdom of darkness and the authorities and all these forces will keep themselves away because no one can forcefully enter into anyone in whom Jesus is alive as king and who is ruled and controlled by the Lord Jesus Christ. This is true freedom and this freedom comes through your surrender to his will, who loves you and who gave himself for you. God bless you as you take this step and give yourself to Jesus Christ and be a slave to Jesus. And I pray that this morning you shall enjoy this freedom by knowing the truth which is Jesus Christ to whom you will surrender that he may rule over your life and set you free from the slavery of evil and demonic forces. Thank you, Lord, for achieving this for each one of us in Jesus' name. And now, my friend, this is a good day. Enjoy the rest of this day. Amen. God bless you.